We've all heard that saying, closet full of clothes, but nothing to wear. And today I want to hone in and unpack the reasons why you might hate your wardrobe. This is that feeling when you open up your closet doors, you step into your wardrobe and you just think, nothing goes together, I can't put together an outfit, or you're just having major decision fatigue in the morning. If you aren't familiar with me, I'm Jamie Lee, and I share lots of styling advice and outfit ideas here on my channel. Now, the very first reason why I think you might hate your wardrobe is because you haven't actually formed a strong relationship with the items that you own. You're continually seeking out something new to fix the problem, so you're ending up with all these great new items in your wardrobe, but you haven't worn them a lot, so you don't really know how to pair them with everything else that you have in your closet. A great analogy would be the difference between an acquaintance and a friend. Someone who is an acquaintance, you maybe just are talking at surface level, lots of small talk. Whereas a friend is someone that you're going to get a little bit deeper with. You're going to have a lot of great conversation because you know each other really well. You know the ins and outs of that person. Think of your wardrobe in the exact same way. The more that you wear an item, the more you pair it with things that you already have, the more you're going to understand how you like to wear it, how you like to pair it, and the ways that it looks really chic and kind of feels like your most unique self in terms of expressing your visual voice. And at the beginning, it's going to feel a little bit awkward, a little bit uncomfortable, and I feel like that's what a lot of friendships kind of are. You're sort of feeling each other out, and it's the same thing you should do with your wardrobe. If you need a kickstart, a great idea is to set aside a couple of hours on a quiet weekend and just try out the items that you're not really sure about with some of your favorite pieces in your closet. And if it is that you've just got a few newer pieces in your wardrobe that you don't know how to wear, my biggest tip is to style it back with your wardrobe workhorses so that it just injects this little bit of freshness into your regular style uniform. The next reason why you might hate your wardrobe is because there is no variation. So you've honed in on a style uniform and you've really stuck to it, almost in that cartoonish sense. So you have found a really great cut of trousers and you've bought them in every single color. So you've got lots of options when you look in your wardrobe, but every single time you put those pants on and you pair it with the tops you would normally wear it with, you feel the same. You're not injecting a different mood or feeling into your outfits and sometimes that's what we're craving. So my recommendation here is when you are looking to kind of build out your wardrobe, you want to have not only variation in the silhouette, but also in the tactile nature of the garments as well. So you want to be looking at things that have different textures too, because that is going to add that tactile component to your outfit it is going to add that visual interest but it's also going to help keep things feeling fresh and different i think the thing i like the most about having that variation of silhouette is that you really unlock your wardrobe's potential and you are able to tap into different moods depending on the day the time of year and it's just a great way to also have a little bit more fun with your style the next reason why you might hate your wardrobe is because your wardrobe is a reflection of your fantasy self. Now, if you haven't heard of the concept of fantasy self, I'd actually plan to do a whole video around it and just time, children, all got in the way. But essentially, it is this aspirational self. And it could just be as simple as you live in the city, but you really like that coastal lifestyle. And so you're really drawn to these lovely washed linens and cottons and super floaty style dresses, worn with chunky sandals and sneakers. But it's worlds away from your actual life, which is a lot more metropolitan. Or perhaps you had a really significant shift in your lifestyle. For example, I would say this was a really big change for me in my lifestyle is when you make that transition from having no children to becoming a mum. And not only then do you have this big identity shift, so who am I now, but also your lifestyle changes. You're no longer able to just pop out for a couple of drinks after work because you have these other responsibilities. And also maybe you're being a little bit more considerate of the types of fabrics you're bringing into your wardrobe because they need to be easy to maintain care for. So essentially the items in your wardrobe, there's this big disconnect between them and your actual lifestyle. And what I would recommend doing in this particular instance is to actually pull out all the items which kind of really hone in on that idea of fantasy self. I'm going to say I'm not perfect. I still shop for my fantasy self. I think that that can also be a good thing in a way because it can be partly aspirational. Maybe it's something you're trying to lead into and are there 
facets of your fantasy self that you can actually grab a hold of and inject into your personal style. But the ones that really aren't reflective of your current lifestyle, pull them out and pop them in another place in your house. Maybe you can put them in a storage tub, something like that, out of sight, out of mind. Because when you don't have them cluttering up the visuals of your wardrobe, it really does make it a lot easier to get dressed. And that's actually another point I'll come back to. Uh, but the other thing is just keeping that in mind when you were shopping, really asking yourself the hard questions does this reflect my lifestyle? Can I wear this realistically at least five different ways? Am I purchasing this for another life? One that I used to have or one that I wish I had? And those are really good sort of starting points because it'll help you to determine and analyze whether you are making a choice because a garment is beautiful or because it's actually right for you. The next reason you might hate your wardrobe is because your clothing is uncomfortable and you know I have to say I think the last few years more than anything has really taught us and made us cling on to this concept of comfort in our clothing. I think if you kind of grew up in that same era that I did, we wore heels to everything. I've been seeing some really funny TikToks around this actually. If you're a millennial then you know you wore heels to a garden backyard barbecue. I mean very true. <laughs> But I think it was kind of ingrained in us that we were sort of business casual at all times and things have really started to relax a lot and I love it. I think that there are really simple touches that we can use to add formality in our outfits. But I'm, I'm talking, I suppose, more so in the aspect of you've got clothing that is too tight, but you're hanging on to it and you're still wearing it and it just kind of cuts in. Fixed waistbands, I think, can be a real um, point of contention in this instance. And it's one of the reasons why I quite like waistbands that are flat in the front and elasticated at the back because you do have that little bit of flexibility. But also, it's kind of made me think, you know, we should lean into opting for those styles that are a little bit bigger around the waist. We can always use a belt to cinch them in. But not just things that fit too tightly, but also fabrics that feel uncomfortable against our skin, that are scratchy, things that make us feel all hot and flustered because they do not breathe. These are the types of garments that we're really not going to reach for. You're going to have a reason why you don't want to wear it, and it's probably because it just is uncomfortable to wear. Maybe you're constantly tugging at it all day, and it just feels too fussy. I reckon those are the things that really get relegated to wardrobe purgatory. You know, they're just sitting there doing nothing for you and doing nothing for your wardrobe or your personal style. And again, they're ones that I would just remove, pop them in a storage box in another room, and then come back to them later, see if you've thought about them, or maybe you've eventually found a replacement, something that is comfortable, but definitely feeling comfortable in our clothing. It not only makes us feel better about what we're wearing, but it also affects the way that we are standing, the way we carry ourselves, and also the mood that we're in. Because uh, there's nothing worse than going out and then just feeling like things are a little bit off. And it definitely reflects in the way that you sort of project your outward confidence and your visual voice. The final reason why you might hate your wardrobe and feel like you've got nothing to wear is because your wardrobe is a disorganized mess. Now, this is something that I find with my personal styling clients. One of the most transformative things once we've done an actual audit of what's in the wardrobe is to organize it clearly so that things can be found almost like visual merchandising in a store. I mean, when you think about when you go shopping, it is always so pleasing on the eye and you can always find the things that you want to look for. Things are being strategically placed in a way that will make the experience feel really nice and soothing and calming and just exciting and thrilling as well when you're sort of looking for that special piece. And I suggest doing the same thing for your wardrobe. I personally have a method where I like to store all my items based on type and then by color. It makes it really easy to find what I'm looking for. And if I am sort of building an outfit around the different colors that I'm wearing, then it's sort of a no brainer for me in terms of where I have to go in my wardrobe. Whenever things are messy, it feels visually cluttered and I just kind of get the sense of dread whenever I open up the wardrobe door. So I always make a point of tidying things up, putting things back in their right place as it makes a world of difference. Even just things as simple as folding your knitwear nicely so that you can actually see everything on display. And then that way nothing gets lost or hidden in the background. So those were the five reasons why I think you might hate your wardrobe. And hopefully by changing your mindset and just changing some 
very simple habits, you may find that you actually have just so much to wear. I also always recommend just spending a little bit of time playing around with what you have because most people tend to have a really good foundation. They've got the building blocks of their wardrobe already, but it's just knowing how to pair things. And style is not necessarily something that is innate, it is a learned muscle, it is something that you flex over time, that you kind of figure out and once you've nailed the basics, you've kind of got it down pat. So actually just spending the time trying stuff on really can be a massive game changer and sort of be the thing that makes you fall back in love with what you have all over again. Anyway, thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. I'm always forever grateful. If you're new here and you want to subscribe, I would love to have you back and I will see you next week with a brand new video. See you very soon. Bye.